So, hello guys, welcome back to Digimon Master Online. Today we are going to tell you where to level up fast. So, as you can see, you can you can start leveling up fast. Digimon Master is really important, but as you can see, if you have a high level Digimon, it's gonna make the game more easier and easier for you to play it. Especially as there's maps and places that you need to to have a really high level Digimon to do it. So um, we can tell you right now. So the first thing that I have done right now it's called Leomon Raid. You came here with a Digimon level one to forty one or to sixty one. It depends on you and on your equipment in here. Um, you do like that if you have a Digimon level 1, you just hit one back, hit and back. You don't hit and stop because Leomon is going to use his power and something like that. So you just hit and kind of come back. So um, after that, uh, we're going to another place that called the Digimon Maze Interest. The Digimon Maze Interest is if you know, if you don't know, it's in western area, and you can see here's the Digimon maze entrance. You can access this area after reaching level, um, I think 40 till 50 Tamar. So you can go there, and and you can see here that you can do here as well, uh, leveling between 41 until 75. So we're here again in uh, Digimon Maze Interest. As I told you, we how to to come to here and the requirements for here. You can level your Digimon here, starting from level 41 or 51 until level 75. Uh, 75 is the max level you can do it. You can do more, but I recommend to do until 75 because it's really gonna better. And you can kill Rokumons in here. We have here Rokumon. We have here Kurumon and you have here uh, full commands as well so you can farm any of these three digimons because most of players farm most of players farm in here and um, it's kind of easier actually and as you can see you can you have to come here with low level digimon until level 75 after that you go back until to file island you go back to file island and here so uh, we're back. In, we're back here again, and um, as you can see, the best uh, place to level up is in here in uh, Waterfront, as I told you, from level 75 until level 94, 5, 94. Yeah, 95. You can do it. It's really better for 95 if you level here until 95. Um, because your leveling is gonna be really easier and better and I recommend actually when you are leveling with the party and besides when leveling with the party to use the XP posters like this one this one is from dungeons as you can see here from you can get one from water dungeon or uh, any other dungeons but um, uh, I get them from water dungeon the normal one not the easy one the normal one I'm gonna make a video later about the normal one um, you can get this one as you can see, it gives you XP 1000 and it's for 2 hours. You can use this one with the normal one. You can use those two together, it won't do any problem for you. Uh, you can buy this one, as you can see, this one is event or daily. You can get it. I actually I saved mine from, from the previous events and I'm just saving it because I might live it later. So I'm selling those stuff. So as you can see here as well. So if you use this one 1000 with this one 1000, and if you get the newbie yellow soccer uniform, it's gonna give you 1000. So you're gonna get 3000 per kill, 3000 XP. Besides, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna let you see uh, the yellow suit one because I already have one. But just for one day, I get it from. Galatamon event, so yeah, here we go. You can see the new yellow soccer uniform. This gives you 1000 XP and speed. Besides, here 1000 and that 1000 is gonna be 3000 XP per kill. Any Digimon, besides this, your daily 
XP. I wasn't on too much lately, so it's zero. But usually, it's gonna be as you can see. You can click on it, and you can see the information. Like I'm gonna get 100% if I looked in uh, by tomorrow or something like that. Besides, besides that, we're gonna have the party XP that when you are in party, as you know, uh, you're gonna get the party XP. But you have your Digimons must be nearly it's with five levels difference. Five levels, not more, not more difference. If if it's zero more, it's six level difference you, the party won't get any xp so you make sure it's five levels different besides that if you can reach the surfer continent pyramid it's gonna be really amazing because leveling there is good from 95 until 99 by killing any digimon in there and ps it's not by server content pyramid you can level as well in the canyon it's depend on the digimon that you are wanting to level it I made a video about the attribute and something like that. You can check it, it's old one, but it's still the same. And you can do something like that. So, right now, I'm gonna go to server continent environment and I'm gonna show you. So, we're here again, and as you can see, guys, you need a uh, level uh, 95 plus Digimon. It's gonna be really better on me because, as you can see here, the party is or 95 plus no one looking for Digimon level 94 or 93 But sometimes you you can find the level with that but No one come here with a low level Digimon than 95 so I recommend to come here with uh, Level 95 Digimon and um, You can get the Digimons in here with the party as I said before and with experience uh, posters and Something like that, so you can get your Digimon level 99. And as you know, guys, in level 99, uh, you have to uh, after you get level 99, you can you can go to another places like dungeons because the dungeons recommended level are 99, or you can go here to Ferdindi, uh, Fersindi, excuse me, yeah, Fersindi, yeah, Fersindi terminal. The Digimons in here are level all all. In high levels, as you can see, if we click the monsters, they're all level 99, and the recommended for them is to go to level 99. So you have to get your Digimon level 99, and level 99 Digimon is really important for dungeons or any other stuff you want to do. For example, the uh, Tamon dungeon, you need a high level Digimon uh, as well, and high fade. I'm gonna make another video about that later. I'm gonna show you guys how you. How you can solo it without looking for a party or something or you can carry your friends or do whatever you want to the party or something else so and I'm gonna make a couple of videos about dungeons I hope I can find a good party and go to dungeons my friend so this is what I'm talking about and as I said level 99 Digimon is really important try to focus on one Digimon while leveling and because Trying to focusing on one Digimon while leveling is really kind of better. You have main Digimon, perfectly cloned, and he's gonna really help you in the game. So I, I, really, I really recommend to level one Digimon to level 99 and then do the other. If you have a Jokerist Digimon, level in the Jokerist. If you have Burst Mode Digimon, level in Burst Mode or level on Rocky, but I recommend to level on Burst Mode because in Burst Mode, as you can see, if the Digimon right now here, Vmon, he's vaccine and light, so it's gonna stay the same, but in other Digimons are not the same in Burst Mode, because they are changing the, the tribute and changing the stuff, like for example here, Pitamon, as you can see, he's virus and water, and in his Burst Mode, he's unknown and dark, so it's really kind of different, as you can see, he's, he's changing right now, data, water, and I recommend level in the in the mode that you are gonna use it because it's gonna be really better to you to do that and really easier actually to be honest and in just first mode is really good to level up the Digimon and I'm gonna show you right now guys as you can see we saw like Pitamon was virus and water and right now you can see here a Pokemon is unknown and dark so it's really the Digimon's change their attribute and they change their stuff so I recommend to level 
in the burst mode if you have Digimon burst mode and to level Jokeless in Jokeless mode not to leveling with normal mode because it's gonna be really something another like in here as you can see here uh, the cursor you know his um, fire and vaccine and when he go to Susana mode it's gonna be vaccine but thunder so the thunder's attribute are playing good thing here in the game so I'm gonna tell you later guys about the attribute and something stuff and something else and other stuff in next videos and I hope you guys enjoy this and you can like and share and do anything you want so see you later guys